Hey everybody, how's it going? Martin with Belvoir Auto Spa. Um, today, just we're going to be going over the new 3D Glow line of products that just released. Um, I also got a uh, microphone I'm testing out, so give me some feedback in the comments. Let me know how the audio quality is. I know a lot of people have said uh, they had trouble hearing me. Hopefully this helps. Uh, so anyways, let's get into it. So 3D released a new consumer line, it looks like, called Glow or GLW. I think I'm just calling it glow. I think that's what they were going for. Um, it's a line of mostly ceramic infused products. They've got some non-ceramic infused stuff. I didn't get everything here. Um, I got most of the ceramic stuff and other things I, I would I was going to find interesting. And um, you know I'm going to see how they are. So I've been using 3D for a long time. Um, I've used. Here's just some of the examples of some of the products right here that I put up on here. Uh, they're eraser gel. It's a great water spot remover. Poxies, Mountain Wax, um, the upholstery shampoo, beat it up. Got more stuff over here. They're nano pills, which I think are amazing. They got spray bottles for everything as well. I've got a gallon of their bug remover, which is concentrated. And I've also got a gallon of their LVP cleaner, which is concentrated. Great products. I've also got all their abrasives. Those are in the cabinet there. 3D Speed. I know a lot of guys like that one. Um, 3D One, ACA 500, 510, 520, AAT 505, I think I have. And I also got the other AAT stuff. Um, I don't have those two, but uh, they're, 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 they've been a great, great company. Um, now, it seems they may have undergone some changes recently. I know a lot of you know that. Mike Phillips, um, for those of you into detailing, Mike Phillips, uh, the former face of Auto Geek, as I like to put it, left Auto Geek and went to work for 3D. Um, and he was doing a lot of stuff with 3D while he was at Auto Geek. And then he left 3D after not that long there. It seemed like maybe six months. And I think it's because they under, underwent some uh, changes. Now, Mike was telling me 3D didn't have a marketing department. 3D definitely has a marketing department now. And that's probably one of the reasons, has to do with one of the reasons why he left. So I don't know if Tunch, the, uh, Tunch was the owner of the company and the head chemist. I don't know if he's still there. I have asked many people, and they have not given me an answer. So it leads me to believe Tunch is no longer at the company. If he's not, that's a shame. Um, but hopefully they don't tarnish the 3D name. But it looks like they're trying to get more into the consumer line. Because as you can see, I forgot to have this as well. This is what 3D's old bottling labels look like. They still have these products as well. These are just their normal products that are for anyone to use. Uh, but they also sell gallons for professionals, things like that. Now the glow line, uh, the glow line is only available in 16 ounces and 32 or excuse me, 16 ounces and 64 ounces. They don't have gallons, not yet. It seems like the glow line, uh, they're trying to improve on this style of label. So they actually brought in a label designer, make something that looks nice, which definitely do look nice. I like this nice flat um, look of the labels. And they're, they're seeing, you know, what the market, what people were after in the market. And it's a lot of ceramic products. We didn't really have a lot of ceramic. They got a ceramic coating. They've got Beat It Up. Beat It Up's not SiO2 ceramic. It's uh, polysiloxane, which is similar type of product. It's, it's from the um, similar chemical family. Not exactly the same, but um, that Beat It Up's been a great product. Um, but yeah, they're so they're going more for the consumer line. I think they're just trying to compete with a lot of the consumer brands out there um, and trying to get more into that market. So if they brought the same great quality that they're known for to the, the consumer market, that's going to be awesome. I've also noticed, though, so they, they created an app. Your first time using the app, you can get 25% off your order, which is nice. Uh, you can order from their website. The stuff is on Amazon as well. Uh, hasn't made it to the other retailers yet. Eventually, I'm sure it'll get to Detailed Image, which I've got a 10% off code for them. So once it's on there and you want to order from them, feel free to use that. It helps the channel out. Using the Amazon links helps out as well. Uh, 3D doesn't have any sort of um, creator program for creators at the moment. Maybe they will in the future. But anyways, let's get into the products ordered. Again, I didn't get everything. I got all the ceramic stuff and other things that caught my interest. Um, I didn't get your regular run-of-the-mill products. I mean, they got a leather cleaner. Leather conditioner. I've got LVP cleaner, which I think is amazing. It comes concentrated, so that's why I didn't get the leather cleaner. Um, I've had the yellow degreaser, which is their wheel and tire cleaner. You can get in concentrated gallons, but then they also got this ready to use. These are all ready to use, by the way. None of this is concentrated. So if you're going for value, go with the previous products they had uh, as far as 
concentration goes. Because like I've got their ultimate wash there, which is supposed to be car shampoo, uh, but I've also got super soap, which is car shampoo. So we'll see how it holds up. But you know, maybe you don't want the super concentrated super soap. Maybe you're only washing one, once in a while. Maybe you're getting this as a gift. I don't know. But let's go through the products one by one. So first, we got their wheel and tire cleaner. So their equivalent product would be their uh, yellow degreaser, which is a wheel and tire cleaner. Um, I've smelled it. it. Smells just like you know your average degreaser, but uh, we'll see how this does on wheels and tires. Um, but if you want to read anything, feel free to pause it. I'm just showing the labels off here. But like, I mean, look, the labels are these are really stunning labels. I love them. Whoever designed your labels, 3D, great job. Next, we've got the SiO2 ceramic detailer. So this I am going to put up head to head with Beat It Up. So we're going to see which is a more stronger protecting product. They claim this is supposed to be better, but we'll see. It's going to go on my, my panel for a torture test. We'll see how it does. Um, but yeah, there's a description of it. Supposed to be super hydrophobic. Shake all for use, obviously. And the scent of this, give it a whiff. It's kind of minty smelling. So that's interesting. It's not bad. I don't mind minty smells. Yeah, my nose isn't the best at picking up what the exact scent is, but I'm just going to give you a vague description so you know what you're expecting. Next, I'm actually going to switch these. I'm going to do this one first. So we've got the uh, SiO2 ceramic wax. So this is just a ceramic infused wax. I don't know if it's carnauba based or if it's clay based wax. Uh, but this is just for people that want to wax their car. They want some ceramic protection. I don't think this is going to be as good protection as a ceramic detailer, but what's nice about wax is wax fills. So if you've got a lot of swirls, scratches, faded paint, you can make it look pretty with wax temporarily. Um, you know, we got the uh, description there. And, you know, maybe, maybe it does. Uh, maybe, maybe it is better. I don't know. We'll find out. So this is going to go head-to-head -head with the ceramic detailer and beat it up. That's going to be a fun video. And as for the aroma... Well, this bottle's sealed. The other bottles weren't sealed. Open her up. It's kind of berry scented, so that's interesting. I like that one. <clears throat> All right. Next up, ceramic glass cleaner. Now, I have yet to find a ceramic glass cleaner that I like. Turtle Waxes is pretty decent, honestly. They got one of the one they sell at Walmart, the misting one. Um, Griots I didn't care for too much. Um, Rainaxes was not that good. Their ceramic one, their their original Rainaxes did that. It's still a great product with their ceramic one. Really streaky. So we'll see how this this holds up. Um, me personally, I like to just clean the glass and then use a ceramic detailer over the glass. It's, it seems to be better. But a lot of companies are still trying the ceramic glass cleaner. So you know we'll see how it is. Aroma wise, it smells like glass cleaner. It doesn't have a pleasant scent. I mean because glass cleaner it's got a lot of alcohol in it or it's usually either alcohol or uh, ammonia this is alcohol i believe in this um isopropyl alcohol which isn't the best smelling thing in the world but there see information and as with all always guys these are not i don't think these any of these you should use in direct sunlight they also use out of direct sunlight i believe um, so keep that in mind. Okay, next we got the ceramic wash. So if you follow my channel, you know I got a love-hate relationship with ceramic washes depending on the company. Some companies make great ceramic washes. Other companies make good shampoos that they're calling ceramic washes but don't actually add any protection despite their claims. So I've kind of been all over the place with this. So we'll see. This one does claim to add hydrophobic protection, as you can see. Super hydrophobic properties. So we will see if that is the case. I'm going to wash a car that's got pretty much terrible protection on it right now with this. We'll see how it is. I'll give this a smell. I can get it open. There we go. Now this kind of has like a fresh, fresh laundry aroma, I guess you could say. And again, I'm not, I'm, somebody may smell something completely different. That's the best I can describe it right now. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> now we've got ceramic interior detailer. Now I've got the Ryan West Industries ceramic interior detailer, which has been one of my favorites. I love that stuff. 
Um, so we'll see how this compares to it. Uh, if we want to look at the back, I, I love ceramic interior detailers because it just you could, you could do everything all at once on all your interior surfaces. And it leaves a, a, leaves behind some nice UV protection. It's usually not shiny. It's usually like a nice matte finish. And scent-wise, this one, I don't know, it has kind of a chemical scent, but it looks like they're trying to mask it with an aroma, like another fresh type of, like a fresh cleaner scent you expect to find around your house. So that's that. Now we got the uh, ceramic matte tire shine. Now I tried getting the uh, glossy one, but they only had it in 64 ounces. They just launched the product. I don't know why they didn't have the smaller bottles available, but they didn't. So, oh, here's my puppy. My puppy's barking. Um, I'm going to take care of that real quick. Hard for me to concentrate on the dog's barking. Anyways, <laughs> so the ceramic matte tire shine. Uh, yeah, the gloss one, they only had 64 ounce, so I didn't get it because I didn't want 64 ounces of it because uh, look at all the products I got, guys. Look at, look at all that. I don't need big, big <laughs> containers of stuff unless I plan on using it regularly. But this is ceramic infused, so you should get like a nice uh, matte finish. Probably if you add more layers, you get a glossier. Should be durable in the water, rain, so rain shouldn't wash it off. Let's see if they made this smell good at all. Ooh, yeah, it's got a nice fruity, fruity smell. So that's good. It's like a nice sweet fruity smell. And then they got the glow iron remover. So you know, 3D makes BDX. Um, they claim that this is supposed to be better and not as strong smelling. I guess I'll find out when I clean some wheels off with it. Um, but I mean, it's it's an iron remover. It's they all they all stink to a degree. I'm not gonna smell it because iron removers smell like uh, sulfur. Basically, it's it's one of the active ingredients in there. It's a type of sulfuric acid. Um, they stink. Anyways, <laughs> now we got the ultimate wash. This is not ceramic infused. It's just supposed to be a car wash. Uh, 3D already has pink car shampoo, and I and then I got super soap, which is a concentrated version of that. So we'll see how this compares to that. Now these soaps you do use more than you do with the nano pail. It's about the same as you use with the pink car shampoo, though. Two to three ounces. Um, then one to two, one to two ounces in a foam cannon, so it's nice to put those measurements on there for you. <clears throat> we'll give this one a smell. I'm trying to see if it's very subtle, but it almost smells like citrus, which is cool if it's because it's orange. But it's really hard for me to tell. Anyways, then we got the ceramic trim restorer. This one I'm kind of looking forward to see how this does because this should be a, since it's ceramic, should darken your trim and be durable. It shouldn't just rinse off in the rain, which is nice. So yeah, it restores your faded black plastic trim. I don't know how, if this is going to be like super long term though, but we'll see. We'll see how it does. Give that one a smell. Come on, open. This one also has a, a fruity smell, so it's going to be pleasant to use. And I know not everyone cares about how the products smell. Someone one time's like, no, no one's going up smelling your car. Yeah, it's not about that. It's about the user experience. Some people prefer better smelling products. I also grabbed this. Headlight Restore. This is their headlight polish. Um, but I'm wondering if this is any better than just using a uh, regular abrasive. Now, this is the size it ships in. and It doesn't come in a bigger size. Um... And I'm wondering if this is like a special formula that does better than your average polish or compound. So we'll see how it does. And I'll see if they scented this at all. I don't imagine this is, but you never know. It might be. No, this is not scented. No aroma in here. It just smells like chemicals. Not strong chemical smells. It's a very faint smell. So it's not something you smell or using. Um, but yeah, guys, that's the, uh, 3d glow line of products minus some of the other ones I didn't grab. Um, I'm sure they're fine as well. So let me know in the comments, which one you're most excited about seeing <clears throat> now, some caveats on 3d. I did pre-order though. I didn't pre-order it. I ordered it early through the app. So this was released on the 15th, um, released on the 15th. I ordered it on the 13th, two days early through their app because it was available early through their app. This did not ship. So this was last Tuesday I ordered it. 
It did not ship until this previous Wednesday. So it took more than a week for them to process and ship the order. Uh, got to me Friday. Today's Saturday that I'm recording. Um, so not the best shipping times. Now I have ordered from 3D's website in the past. Shipping was better. Um, but it seems like the marketing team got ahead of the rest of the company. And I am hoping and praying that 3D does not get taken over by the marketing team and they just start pumping out crap and just having a crap experience for the users because 3D is a great company. Um, and I have seen marketing companies run wild with other brands before and just kind of ruin everything. I hope this doesn't happen. I still want to know if Toonch works there or not. If you're, if you're at 3D and you're watching this, let me know. Uh, but anyways, guys, I appreciate you all watching. Again, let me know what you're most excited about seeing. Uh, leave your thoughts and comments below, your experiences with 3D, good, bad, whatever. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And stay tuned for more content. I'll see you all in the next video. Keep them clean. Have a good one.